Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, as you can see, I got a new setup going on in the studio because it's coming up on Halloween. And I totally dig Halloween. It's always been my favorite holiday. I'm a freaking adult and I can do what I want in my own studio. Okay, lots going on. I have been filming regularly like I always do, but I just haven't been doing any editing or posting. Clearly, it's been a while since I posted a video, and I continually say, oh yeah, I'm gonna go back to filming and posting every day, but the reality is I don't have time. I've had too much day job work to do. It has, it has taken all of my time and energy to be able to get through all the crap that I have to do for the day job, that by the time it gets to the end of the day, I just don't have it in me to sit here and try to edit, especially since the last couple of times I had a lot of problems with the editing programs and, and platforms that I was using. At this point now, everything's been updated. All the firmware, this, that's, and the other things of everything has been updated and everything has been working relatively smoothly, I think, knock on wood. The other reason why I haven't posted stuff is because it would all be piecemeal, so to speak. I got a new carbon fiber tripod thinking that I was done when I got the legs and when I had the carbon fiber gimbal head and I combined those two and they were great except that they weren't and the reason they weren't great is because it was either too low or too high when I was out birding and then I started to realize how convenient it was to have that center column to be able to raise it up to wherever I needed it. So I ordered the center column. So I didn't really want to do a full review on the, on the tripod without having the center column and putting everything together. Then I also ordered a uh, waterproof rain coat, so to speak, for the 200-600 lens. So I was waiting for that to come in. And I also got a new tripod collar foot for the 200-600 and I was waiting for that to come in. Everything's come in. I've gotten everything that I've ordered. Uh, well, and that's not true because I ordered more stuff, but that hasn't come in yet. Anyway, so the birding setup is done. I actually went out to Pleasure House Point earlier today and filmed a whole review and showed you everything. So uh, why don't we go to that right now? Here we've got everything all set up now. This is the final configuration of, of this birding setup. So obviously I have the A7R4 with the grip, I have the Sony 200 to 600, but now I've got this waterproof camouflage uh, raincoat, if you will. It's just a bunch of sections of stuff on there. Now, do I really think that that's gonna keep everything dry? No, that's not why I bought it. Uh, why I bought it was so that it actually camouflages the gigantic white lens you know, hopefully a little bit from the birds. And it also will act as uh, a little bit of protection because it's not just, it's not just this fabric. It's, it's got squishy shit on the other side. Kind of a bitch to put on. I had to use needle, no, needle nose pliers to actually pull some of it on, but with a little patience that I'm not known for, of course, but a little patience and a little perseverance and just taking your time and enjoying the process. We got it all on there and it's good to go. Everything is like uncovered and if you need to uh, get to the settings. It's got this little Velcro bit here and then you can just put the Velcro back up and it's good to go. And it even on the hood and everything. So that's all set. Now what else we got here? Interall carbon fiber tripod that is meant to have a payload of 88 pounds. Now we all know that this setup including the newer carbon fiber gimbal head is only 10.4 pounds so plenty of space there's my collapsible seat that i remembered to bring so let me back up a little bit here all right so what i did <clears throat> was that i went with the carbon fiber tripod rather than one that had any camouflage on it because the camouflage was literally just this foam part and i thought well what's the point then if everything else is black so i just got the all black stuff match the black carbon fiber gimbal head and you know black camera and now camouflage lens so I think that's good enough compared to before where everything was just black except for the lens is that going to keep birds from seeing me of course not because I'm trying to get as close as possible as I can to them but you know every little bit helps because every once in a while as soon as I lift the lens up birds take off so the other thing that I did I just got this like little lanyard type thing and I got a piece of this foamy crap from one of the bags 
one of the many bags in the closet that I bought and I just sort of popped the hole into it to sort of hold it on there. And now I just put this like right here and it goes across my shoulder when I'm carrying this damn thing around. Again, when I bought the carbon fiber tripod, I thought to myself that I wasn't gonna need a center column. So it had this aluminum or maybe even steel uh, piece that, that went in there and the gimbal head went right onto that piece. The problem was, is that it was just a little bit too short because it's got all these sections of legs and I only have it out one section. So it was too low but when I put it out two sections, then it went up like way too high. And I kind of needed a happy middle. So that's when I was like, that day that I took it out last weekend, I was like, okay, I need the center column. So I ordered the center column and I got that. Uh, it was there when I got back from being on the road. And I immediately, it, it comes with like this entire piece here, including this black piece that goes in there. So you just pop this up and that literally, there's like a little button here on the side underneath you clip that and it just pulls right out and you replace it with this stuff instead of that other piece and then i also have the 75 millimeter bowl with the little thingy that goes in there so that i can move it any way i want if i were just doing landscapey stuff or if i was on uneven ground kind of like it is now and i wanted to sort of straighten it out but i don't need to do that because you know i can just sort of move this around and, and get it going so as you can see wherever i put it it stays where it's supposed to stay. So I've got it balanced. Oh, and I also got this uh, Leo photo plate, foot, whatever, foot plate uh, for the tripod mount because it the, the, the stock one was maybe like half the length of this. And it also didn't have an ARCA compatible piece to it or have an ARCA compatible built in. And I had to put one of those uh, plates on it underneath which just you know there's just more shit to go on there that, that you have to worry about being screwed on or screwed off so that's on there now and that's good to go bottom line this is now the perfect birding setup uh, for me certainly it can be for you now this tripod is huge it's beefy it will probably be the last tripod i ever have to buy uh, you know provided it doesn't break or you know i don't drop it and smash it it is incredibly well built. It's very sturdy. I bought it based off of a couple of videos where I watched people extend the legs all the way out and then grab here in the center and either just hang there or start jerking and doing pull-ups on it. And it didn't move. And I can confirm, other than not being able to do a pull-up anymore, that I did in fact extend the legs all the way out and hang off of it and gruntingly pull myself most of the way up and and it didn't move so it's good to go okay so there you go there's the birding setup it's awesome it's it's fantastic i had a great time today walking around with it and got a lot of banger pictures now because i didn't have it with me but i talked about it here is that center plate that i was saying how this piece goes into the center there at the top of the legs basically and, and then it just has the, you know, the, the quarter 20 thingy there that you can screw into whatever. And this is what I had the gimbal head screwed into before. So now I don't need this in there right now because I have the center column and I showed you how that all went in there. And then this was the thing that I was talking about. This is the bowl along with the, and you can see how it, how it spins and then you can boom, tighten it up so that this is straight, but you can maneuver your stuff in whichever way you need to do it. So should I ever need that, I did buy that as part of the kit when I originally got the, the tripod. I don't see using this all that much, but better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And it really wasn't that much more for the kit if I got it as a kit rather than buying each piece individually. Uh, the only other thing that came to that tripod are the, and I never mentioned this, but it's the spiky things that, that you can unscrew the, the, the rubber foot, shoe, whatever, at the bottom of each leg, and you can put those spikes in there. Don't really see needing that because I'm basically setting that down in sand, more or less, or dirt or mud, and I don't need, I don't need these. I'm not on ice. I'm not mountain climbing. 
so don't need it. So I guess really the only thing I need to say is that I love all this gear. It, it's fantastic and it, it's just gonna make me, I think, that much better of a photographer and a videographer. Um, I don't care when people say gear doesn't matter. Hell yeah, gear matters. It matters if it makes you excited about doing what you're doing and all this stuff is really exciting for me. So I'm stoked to have my birding set up finally. Like, like it's done. I don't need anything else. I'm good to go. So that's that. I just wanted to show you everything. Apologize for, for being absent for so long. I'm really working at trying to do this more. Um, Got to work on my, my internal dialogue a little bit, and uh, that might help relax me a tad, but we'll see. So anyways, I'm linking all the gear down below, the the tripod kit and, and all the extra shit that I bought for that, and the foot and the, the lens coat and blah, 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 and all that stuff. It's down in the description, so check it out. Um, I can't speak any high, I can't speak, Jesus, I can't speak. I. I can't recommend this stuff enough. It's all fantastic. It is now tried and tested by me, and you know how I put my stuff through its paces uh, to the point where I break shit. <laughs> uh, so everything is, is fantastic, and I think that this, you know, after walking around today with that setup finally completed and everything, um, it was fantastic. I, I had absolutely zero fear of anything breaking on that or it not being capable of handling the weight or, or anything that I was doing. And, and I think I'm good to go there. So again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up. Ooh.